Hey guys, MD Prepper here again. Uh, just another video. Um, we are doing a video on the Atlanta Cutlery Down Home Hunter Blade. Um, I picked this up recently, a couple, three weeks ago, with an order from uh, Atlanta Cutlery. I saw this and uh, thought it was neat, so I decided to pick it up. Um, I'll go over the sheath, sheath a little bit later. But uh, this is a blade. Uh, that is made out of a file. Uh, a lot of stuff online about making your own knives out of files and all that. Uh, I don't have that capability quite yet. But saw this for about $15 and said, you know, this is worth a try. Um, comes with nice diamond wood grips. Very pretty. Uh, diamond wood is, of course, fairly cheap, but um, very durable. Won't rot, fall apart in bad weather conditions. Um, this is about a four and three quarters inch blade. Um, it's roughly nine ounces overall and uh, about nine and a half inches overall. Um, don't know if you can see it. I'll try to get you up close, but uh, this is obviously made from a file. Um, still has the file edges on it here, um, which is very handy. I uh, think that's a great option uh, if you carry a shovel or an axe, something like that, out in the field. Uh, you can use these edges to sharpen up any kind of burrs or um, edges on your blades for your shovels, knives, etc. In case you happen to hit something odd angle, need to uh, finish that up a bit. Um, it comes with, it's of course cheap blade, uh, comes out of Pakistan. Now, we could all bad mouth Pakistan as much as we want, but uh, I've had quite a few nice knives out of Pakistan. Can't say I argue with the quality of this blade. It is just short of a quarter inch thick. Ultra, ultra thick for a blade. Full tang, super durable. Um, I could probably run this over with a tank and probably still just barely mar the finish. Um, Straight edge, no serrations on the blade, which I don't particularly care for serrations anyway. Comes fairly darn sharp. Um, again, don't know exactly the grade of steel this blade is, but uh, came with a little sticker on it that said uh, stainless. Uh, looks like 440 stainless. Um, not sure about that, but that's just a guess. Um, good fit and finish on the back edges. Um, no overlap or anything from the grips of the blade. Uh, no jimping on the back of the blade, which is a bit of a minus, but when you tend to put your thumb here on it, uh, you push hard enough, you're going to catch a little bit of the edges with your thumb. Um, going to give you a little bit of jimping, a little bit of texture there, catching the file edge of it. But uh, a nice blade overall. Um, is as nice quality as a Mora knife? Maybe not, um, but it's good enough. Um, it's a good middle-sized knife between a more knife and, say, a K-Bar or maybe a Cold Steel Bushman. I'd probably put this as a mid-ground between a more and a Bushman. Um, good carry knife. I would carry this just about any time in the woods, um, any time for bushcraft or survival. Uh, not use it a whole lot yet. I baton with it just a little bit. A um, couple small twigs and limbs. Um, did just fine, no problems. Uh, one thing I do like is these two finger choils here, uh, close to the blade, probably mid-sized as far as depth goes. Uh, you talk about a lot of knives not being able to jump up on the blade. Um, this one is close enough to get the job done. You don't have to put your finger out and risk getting cut to be able to do a little bit finer work. Now, of course, you've got a little bit of file blade edge down here um, at the base. Blade doesn't come all the way down, but um, nice blade overall, especially for $15. I think this is an absolute must-have on the cheap. Uh, if you're looking for just a knock-around knife, uh, something you don't have to worry about beating up, which is exactly something they said on the website, um, it's a good blade. Um, you don't have to worry about hurting it too much because you won't, trust me. Now on the sheath, all other sheath, it did not come this dark. Again, it's been oiled up a little bit. Uh, decent quality, a little thin on the uh, belt loop there, but uh, appears well secured with two little fasteners there. Uh, it does have this leather twining, whatever you call it, 
intricate work for appearance purposes. There is a little closer. I don't have a whole lot of use for that. I uh, think it probably weakens the sheath slightly, but not overall. Uh, only good thing about this is that there's a small hole at the bottom, which will likely act to drain off water, um, kind of like you see on your Mora knives. Um, other than that, she's serviceable, um, not real thick, not real tough, but good enough. Uh, again, oiled up, I, I like it a whole lot more than I did. Um, but overall, the Down Home Hunter, great blade for about $15 a pop for, um, from rather, Atlanta Cutlery. Uh, highly recommend it. Never seen a YouTube video on it. Figured I'd do one might do some outdoor vids of me using this thing at some point, but uh, let me know what you think. Thanks guys. Bye.